So I'll start at the top. My hat was custom made in Los Angeles. Uh, my jacket is from John Galliano. The pants uh, are from Japan. How would you describe your style? They wrote about me in Paris Vogue and they called me Crocodile Dandy. So uh, I'll go with that one. Can I get your name, please? James Goldstein. Goldstein. I'm from Los Angeles. To say James Goldstein stands out in a crowd is an understatement. The Los Angeles investor gets noticed everywhere he goes, whether it's courtside at the numerous NBA games the superfan attends, or front row at some of the most prestigious fashion shows around the world. Mary Kitchen paid a visit to Goldstein's iconic house in Beverly Hills to uncover the man of many hats. Your card, your this notorious card of yours. You're talking about this? Yeah, I'm talking about that. See, we got fashion, architecture, basketball. My question is, how much of each are you? These are the things I spend all my time on. And uh, when I'm in Los Angeles every day, I'm focusing on all the details of what I'm building right now. When I'm traveling in Europe, I'm doing my fashion number and going to all the fashion shows. And basketball, uh, I plan everything around the basketball games. I can't say that one trumps the other. They're all very important to me. Do you want to start our tour? Let's go. Walking through your house, I almost feel like I've been here before because I recognize it. Well, many movies, music videos, Fashion shoots have all been done here, including Cavalli with Kate Moss being shot here. It's been used uh, in music videos by people such as Snoop Dogg. Now you can fly the friendly skies with the S and double O P D. They used every part of the house, even even my basketball court in the driveway. They snoopified the house and changed it considerably, which I wouldn't have gone along with for anybody else. With Snoop, it was okay. This was, of course, one of my favorite shoots because Giselle was here for Victoria's Secret. It was taken in my garage in my helmet, Newton. This is another helmet Newton shot, obviously. Yes, he was taking photos of this girl and had his back to the sky. And I said, Helmet, look up, look up at the sky. And he looked up, and there was the sky writing, which was perfect for the photo. I won't tell you who these people are. That's you? That's me. No! And do you know who the girl is? Is that Jane Mansfield? That's Jane Mansfield, you know your stuff. That was taken at the Whiskey A Go-Go on Sunset when it first opened. That's where I met Jane. That's where he met Jane. This is what I'm building on the other side of my driveway with the nightclub being here uh, underneath the tennis court. And this is a huge outside dining area and a uh, lap pool. So we are about to arrive into James Goldstein's bedroom. <laughs> this is a bit of a notorious bachelor pad. Uh, I wasn't aware of that, but if you say so. Do you really sleep on gray leather? I'm famous for uh, wearing leather, and so I decided to uh, make the bed out of leather as well. Now, I s notice your hats over here. This is your hat collection. That's my hat collection. May I? Sure. Try it on. You got to wear it at a little angle. You show me. Oh, at an angle. Better? Better. And now that's kind of your look, the hat look. It's the final compliment to what I'm wearing, and I, I feel great when I'm wearing a hat. Did you notice the swimming pool here? Uh, I, it's like a sensory overload here, so no, I didn't even notice that, oh, this is not actually a window, it's in fact a swimming pool. This 
closet goes back uh, about 30 years. This one is from Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is Terry Mugler. I like fashion for the fun of it. Most people are afraid of wearing something different. They're afraid that they might not fit in. They don't want to do anything different. And uh, I'm trying to change that mentality. Are you the average looking um, Lakers fan? <laughs> no. Do they appreciate your outfit though? Every game I go to, I have fans coming up to me and say, you know, I come to the games not only to see the game, but to see how you're dressed. Oh, I love so, that. So uh, that makes me feel good. People are obviously very fascinated with you. Uh, in the fashion world, in the basketball world, in this world of art and architecture. Can you tell me why you think people are so fascinated with you? I can only speculate, but uh, I think the world has become s such a world of conformity that uh, because I'm an individual and I do what I feel like doing without uh, worrying about what someone is going to think of me, uh, I think people enjoy seeing that. Thank you so much for having us. Okay, thank you. You have a beautiful home. <laughs>